Hey guys, Kilroy here, episode 25. You're watching Mako TV. Hot chicks, ass hats, and airsoft drama. It's all here, coming up in the news. Brought to you by Airsoft Today, World Airsoft News. Here's stories about the new M320. It's a airsoft grenade launcher. It attaches to the front and side rail onto your, the lower and side rail onto your wrist systems. Uh, shoots your standard 203 shell. It's pretty cool looking, retractable stock. Attaches off the gun to use it by itself. Pretty sweet, guys. Check it out. I'll post the video link in the description as always, but get over there and check it out. It's going to be pretty sweet. Hot Shots 2012 calendar is now available for pre-order. I mean, what's not to like? You got hot chicks, you got boobs, almost hanging out half naked with awesome guns. You guys should check it out. I know I'm going to get one. My wife will probably kill me, but I'm going to get one anyway. And that leads us up to the Airsoft Asshat story. Didn't think this was going to be a segment. We'll give it a try, but found another story that fits the MO. So, Airsoft Asshats, here we go. There's a field down in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, it's not privately owned. It's city owned. And this group of airsofters, about 50 guys actually, go out there and play every weekend on this field. Well, it's starting to get attention of the city people around it. City people, the people that live local to it, they're all getting concerned. These guys running around in our army gear with our guns, and they're freaking out. And thusly so. Airsoft's supposed to be played on a sanctioned field, privately owned, out of the view of public. These guys are breaking all those little rules, and they're playing in the view of public, on city property. property. And not only that, they're charging money for these people to play. I mean, how, I don't know how you get away with that, going on somebody's land, charging them money to play on a land on land you don't own. Makes no sense to me. Anyway, one of the kids in there, I think his name was A.J. Dobson. Guy's a total douchebag. I just want to come out here and play airsoft. Uh, yeah, man, if you want to play airsoft, do it the right way. I mean, I don't think I'm wrong here. Um, perhaps I'm just too sensitive about this shit. Anyway, guys, check out check it out. I'll put the story in the description. A.J.'s this week's airsoft ass hat. Final story of the day is Operation Midnight Harvest. The city of Lawson has given me the runaround, so unfortunately we won't be able to do our deuces and everything like we were talking about doing this year. Um, it's going to run just like last year. Everybody's going to meet one place. We're going to give the briefing. Teams are going to split up. And then we're going to start the game. I don't know if you saw the video I put out earlier, but we do have our first raffle prize in. It's a GNG M4, so it's going to be pretty sweet. We've spoken with Elite Force. They're going to be out there possibly selling BBs, but they are going to send us something to raffle off. Uh, MilitaryGifts.com, they're going to be sending us some Condor loadouts. We're talking chest rigs with pouches, not just a rig and then you gotta buy the pouches on your own. We've got one multicam, one OD on the way. So it's, we've got a ton of stuff we're gonna be raffling off, guys. So check it out. We've dropped the pre registration fee down at $25. Um, get on the forums, register, fill out that registration thread. Bam, 25 bucks. If you don't do that, it's 40 bucks when you walk on the field. Um, what that does, that helps us get everything in line so we can get, make sure everybody gets a patch this year. So go ahead and do that, makeovents.com forward slash event boards, and we'll look forward to seeing you out there. Past weekend, we went out to Tab. Um, it's an interesting, interesting weekend of uh, airsoft, to say the least. Um, had a lot of button heads, a lot of tempers flaring. Um, it was just a day where you just hang your head and you just try to figure out what the hell happened that day. That footage not, isn't going to be in the episode. I'm just going to cut that out completely because we want to put this shit behind us. Move on like the adults we are. So, here comes the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit! 
You're welcome. <laughs> Hit! Fuck me, dude. Hit! Left side, left side. There's one immediately around the corner. Copy. Come on, bro. Get around the corner, get around the corner. Get around the corner, white. Alright. Got one more on this side. Get up. We're gonna button hook. You ready? On you. To the bathroom. Here. Got him through the bathroom in that room. Hit!
and a fucking grenade. <laughs> You're gonna tell. Yeah, he's not ambushing you at all. There you go. Go. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Throw it. There's no spoon. Right? Throw me, throw me. What do you guys got? Get the fuck in here! Get the fuck in here! Hit. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And if, like I said, if you guys are interested, get over to makeovents.com forward slash event boards. Check out Operation Midnight Harvest 2. It's going to be pretty sweet. Lots of prizes, lots of cool guys. Night insertion mission, milsim, what's not to love, right? So get over there, makeovents.com forward slash event boards. We're going to an invite only event hosted by milsimevent.com. The event is. <laughs> With that said, I hope you guys are as, as excited about it as we are. As always, guys, if you have any questions, email me at kilroy at makeovents.com. Until next time. Mags out, safety zone.